Welcome to Cryptonomics. The so-called Lightning Network is said to solve Bitcoin's big problem with handling transactions. But what is the Lightning Network and how does it work? Welcome back to Cryptonomics and Cryptonomics Basics. The series where we explain the hottest cryptocurrency tech with simpler terms. With Bitcoin only being able to handle 7 transactions per second compared to Visa's 4000, many ask themselves how Bitcoin will be viable as a currency. Now, we believe in Bitcoin, but 7 transactions per second is a problem. And a lot of Bitcoin is changing hands simultaneously, which is driving the transaction fees through the roof. Today we will dig into the Lightning Network, how it works and how it could save Bitcoin. So Lightning was proposed as far back as 2015, but still hasn't been implemented fully. However, recent tests of technology bears promising results, and the list of features is impressive. Lightning offers instant payments without having to worry about block confirmation times. It also introduces great scalability with capacity for millions of transactions per second, and it reduces transaction fees dramatically, which could make Bitcoin usable as a currency for microtransactions. The biggest problem with Lightning right now is currently facing a lack of developers. As of today, there are not many more than 10 full-time developers working on implementing Lightning. And this is a big problem. Some developer forecasts a full implementation of Lightning might be as far away as a year or two. On the other hand, Rome wasn't built in a day. And the more it grows, well, the better it gets. The authors of the Lightning Network white paper conclude that if only two parties care about the transaction, it is not necessary for all other nodes in the Bitcoin network to know about the transaction. And this is a good place to start when explaining the Lightning Network. Right now, every Bitcoin transaction has to be validated and put into the blockchain. That means that no matter how small amount of Bitcoin I want to transact, I still have to queue up with all the other transactions on the network. This is obviously a problem when it comes to microtransactions, especially since Bitcoin can only handle a small number of transactions per second. Lightning enables users to transact off the blockchain. But what does that mean? Simply put, imagine if I want to transact in Bitcoin with Fabian. We will both then put, for example, one Bitcoin each into a mutual account that now contains two Bitcoin. After this, we sign a transaction which says that one Bitcoin will be paid to me and one Bitcoin will be paid to Niklas and this is later broadcasted to the blockchain. Basically, we have just locked up one Bitcoin each of our funds that cannot be tampered with. And we have now officially opened a lightning channel between us. Now, if I want to send Niklas half a Bitcoin, the balance sheet will be updated. So it says that Niklas will receive one and a half Bitcoin and I will only receive half a Bitcoin. The sum of the account is still two Bitcoin, but it will be distributed in a different way. We can make as many transactions like this as we want, because the balance sheet is only stored between us and doesn't clog out the Bitcoin network. As soon as we're done transacting, we can send the latest balance sheet to the Bitcoin network, the transaction will take place and the blockchain will be updated. But an obvious problem occurs if I try to cheat Niklas out of his Bitcoin. What if I broadcast in an incorrect balance sheet? Well, with every new transactions that we made off the blockchain, we also include an anti-cheat transaction. This anti-cheat transaction says that Fabian will receive the one Bitcoin I originally put into the mutual account. If I try to update the blockchain with an incorrect version of the balance sheet, Niklas can activate the anti-cheat transaction. This transaction, signed by me in the latest off-blockchain transaction, means I lose more than I stand to gain by cheating. But this anti-sheet transaction can only be activated when a fraudulent transaction is taking place, which makes the Lightning Network secure. How would you make sure that no one is trying to cheat you? Well, most likely you will pay a small fee to make sure that someone is constantly monitoring the network for fraudulent transactions. It might feel a bit complex, but Lightning ensures that you can transact in a quick, cheap and secure way with counterparties you might not trust. <laughs> Lightning offers huge advantages over the current Bitcoin network. Even if the transaction channel we talked about is two-way, we can source all these open two-way channels and gain access to a huge network of Lightning channels. So if Nicholas wants to buy pizza from the pizzeria with Bitcoin, the Lightning network might find that I already have an open channel with the pizzeria. Now, when I send Bitcoin to the pizzeria, it's actually transferred through my open channel to Fabian and then through his open channel to the pizzeria. So we use two already open Lightning channels with me acting as a node for Niklas and the pizza guy. This results in the money being instantly transferred to the pizza guy from Niklas. With the six degrees of separation theory, it should be easy enough to connect most people through nodes on the Lightning Network, if it's widely adopted. This will open up for an enormous amount of transactions through the Bitcoin blockchain without slowing it down. Sure, 
Bitcoin miners might object to Lightning because it reduces the traffic on the network. And remember that a congested network drives up transaction fees, which is a great income for the miners. However, Lightning is a software added on top of the Bitcoin network, so you don't really need the support from miners. And as an added bonus, Lightning introduces new opportunities for making money, like acting as a node on the Lightning network or monitoring the network for fraudulent transactions. Now we only need an easy to use, consumer friendly implementation of the Lightning network to get a huge support. And this could truly be a game changer. Thank you for watching Cryptonomics Basics. If you have any topics that you want us to cover, please leave a comment. Remember to hit subscribe and give us a like.